I'm gonna show you how you get this from this. Now I've had a lot of people out there ask me, Jeff, where does gold come from? And you know what? The answer just might surprise you. Now I know a lot of you out there saying, Jeff, this is an easy one. Gold comes from the mountains. It comes from orogenic hosted gold deposits, porphyry deposits, hydrothermal deposits. Heck, the list goes on and on forever. Actually, the real answer to where gold comes from is a little bit further out there than you think. So I'm going to go ahead and explain in great detail where gold comes from. And you guys are going to have a really good understanding of gold after you watch this. So without further ado, Hey, narrator. You rang Sir Williams. Yeah, go ahead and roll that film on where gold comes from. It would be my pleasure. Billions of years ago, in the depths of the cosmos, a remarkable journey began. This is the story of how our Earth formed and how precious gold found its way to our planet. Our tale begins with the nebula hypothesis, a widely accepted theory that explains the formation of the solar system. A massive molecular cloud composed of gas and dust began to collapse under its own gravity. As the cloud collapsed, it formed a spinning disk known as the protoplanetary disk. Within this disk, tiny particles of dust and gas collided and clumped together, forming planetesimals and protoplanets. Over time, the collisions and gravitational attraction continued, giving rise to a growing protoplanet, our young Earth. But its journey had just begun. Approximately 4.5 billion years ago, a dramatic event occurred, the giant impact. Another protoplanet named Theia collided with the young Earth. The powerful impact ejected a tremendous amount of debris into space. This cosmic dance of particles and fragments eventually coalesced to form our moon, which orbited the newborn Earth. As our planet grew, it underwent a process known as differentiation. Density variations caused heavier elements like iron and nickel to sink towards the core, while lighter materials formed the mantle and crust. But how did gold, a precious metal, find its way to our planet? To understand the arrival of gold, we must journey to the final moments of a massive star's life, a supernova. In the cataclysmic explosion of a supernova, immense amounts of energy and heat release. This intense environment is the crucible where heavy elements, including gold, are forged through a process called nucleosynthesis. As the remnants of the supernova spread through space, a new chapter in our cosmic story began, the formation of the solar system. The enriched interstellar material which now contained gold and other heavy elements became part of the protoplanetary disk surrounding a nascent star, our Sun. During the process of planetary accretion, the young Earth began gathering dust and debris from the protoplanetary disk. Among these particles were minuscule traces of gold. Over millions of years, as the Earth continued to grow and evolve, it accumulated more gold albeit in relatively small amounts compared to its vast size. Another significant chapter in our planet's history is what is known as the Late Heavy Bombardment. Approximately 3.8 to 4.1 billion years ago, the Late Heavy Bombardment occurred. During this tumultuous era, the inner solar system, including Earth, experienced a relentless onslaught of asteroids, comets and meteoroids. These cosmic projectiles, remnants of the solar system's early chaotic period, hurtled towards the inner planets with tremendous force. Among the countless celestial visitors, some carried tiny traces of gold and other precious metals within their cores. When these gold-containing asteroids collided with our young planet, they unleashed cataclysmic energy, creating massive impact craters and shaping the landscape as we know it today. The impact of these asteroids caused a tremendous amount of heat, vaporizing parts of the colliding celestial bodies and melting the Earth's crust. In this fiery cataclysm, gold vapor and molten material became infused with the Earth's atmosphere and molten interior. As the intense heat from the impact subsided, the molten material cooled and solidified, forming new rocks enriched with precious metals, including gold. Gold-bearing ores and rocks, which release small amounts of gold into surrounding groundwater or hydrothermal fluids. As the gold dissolves, 
It forms ionic gold, primarily as a U3 plus ions. These ions can then bond with other chemical species, such as sulfur, carbon, or chlorine, to form stable complexes. Hydrothermal fluids, hot mineral-rich solutions circulating through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust, play a crucial role in transporting the dissolved gold over vast distances. Driven by pressure gradients, temperature variations, and geological structures, these hydrothermal fluids carry the gold ions through intricate pathways in the Earth's crust. As the hydrothermal fluids encounter specific chemical and physical conditions, such as a change in temperature, pressure, or pH balance, the gold ions are released from their chemical bonds and undergo precipitation. Reduction reactions occur, where gold ions lose their positive charge through electron transfer, resulting in the formation of metallic gold. This reduction can be facilitated by reactions with sulfur compounds, organic matter, or other reducing agents. The reduced gold atoms coagulate and nucleate, forming microscopic particles or clusters of metallic gold. Animated visuals depict the growth of metallic gold particles through deposition of gold atoms. These particles gradually grow in size through the deposition of additional gold atoms onto their surfaces. The larger metallic gold particles or clusters, now heavier, begin to settle out of the solution due to gravity, sedimentation and other geological processes. Geological processes such as erosion, weathering and tectonic activity further concentrated these gold deposits, making them accessible for future generations to mine and exploit them. The movement of tectonic plates brought some of these gold deposits closer to the Earth's surface, allowing human civilizations millennia later to discover and utilize this precious resource. From ancient times to the modern era, gold has played a significant role in human history, symbolizing wealth, beauty and power. Today we mine these ancient gold deposits, a testament to the dramatic events that unfolded billions of years ago during the late heavy bombardment. The journey of gold to Earth is a reminder of the extraordinary processes that have shaped our planet and the incredible origins of the precious metals we hold so dear. It's a testament to the remarkable journey of these precious elements, traveling across the cosmos, surviving cataclysms, and shaping the destiny of our planet and the civilizations that would rise upon it. Now, hopefully, that's answered your questions on where gold comes from. And I think we pretty much covered everything. There's much more, Sir Williams. What do you mean there's more? Scientists still can't say how the moon originated. I thought the moon was created from the planet Thea. There's the hollow moon hypothesis. Yeah, there is that theory, too. Well, that's going to have to be for another video. Thanks anyway, Mr. Narrator. It's always my pleasure, Sir Williams. Now, if you like today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. How hard should they smash it? So hard even I can feel it. That's right. Real hard. Do you guys want to see more videos like this? And maybe cover some of the fringe stuff you don't hear about on YouTube? Like, why does man want to dig up gold so bad? I can tell you why. And how can you use gold to cure cancer? Oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. And if you like today's format, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section. Until next time, this is Jeff Williams and the narrator that's right the narrator saying you like these new formats because they're so much fun stick around son and jim because we've only begun take care everybody